Hello. I'm back. After YouTube decided to ban me yet again. Yeah, I got a strike I did. Oh dear. Well, four months ago, my first strike. Yeah, my first strike. For hate crimes against Piers Morgan. How's that even possible? Just because I showed pictures of him with Gisley Maxwell, etc. <laughs> well, two weeks ago, I got another strike. For sexualising a Tori Scofie. How is it even possible? Well, while well, I was uh, serving my sentence, yeah, I was all cuffed and that, yeah, serving my sentence, five days in, I received another strike. Well, technically they said it's not a strike, but I still got banned again for another week. So I ended up getting banned for about 12 days. Oh dear. But today is ended. So I'm back. Yes. And the other strike, well, that was for hate crimes, apparently. Again! Oh my giddy aunt, the world's gone absolutely mad, or at least YouTube has. Political correctness has gone, well, yeah, that certainly has gone mad. I feel like I'm walking on flipping eggshells. Can't say anything. You can't point the finger at anybody anymore. You can't take the mickey out of anybody anymore. You can't say anything. I think there's a bit of a problem, actually. And I think we are part of the problem. I think we've caused it. Yeah. We're providing ammunition for right-wing media and right-wing politicians and what have you. Useful tools we've made the term woke. They've weaponised them. Because we've allowed them to. Quite frankly. But what is woke? It's social awareness. It's like someone knocks on your door, you answer the door, you say hello. I'm aware of you. I'm awake. Awake of social issues, etc, etc. But political correct correctness has gone loopy. Especially on YouTube. Like I say, I feel I'm walking on eggshells, I can't say anything. So I'm going to have to be extremely careful from now on. Even when I do my live streams now. They're always getting demonetised. It's crazy. For what? Can't say anything. Can't be remotely funny. Okay, sometimes I'm not funny. Okay, uh, but it makes me giggle. Gives me a tickle. So bear with me. <laughs> well... I will be going live tonight, though, at uh, 9pm in the EU, in France, but in the UK, about 8pm. And my dear wife has just been in the UK. Well, she's going to be joining me for a bit as well. I'm going to ask her some questions about her, her trip and the things that she noticed, yeah, in comparison to France. Might be interesting to join us then. But... There's so much stuff going on at the moment. I've missed so much in my time in the cold room, you yeah. know. Where the hell is UK media? Quite frankly, they keep stum at the moment on the things that really matter. They should be outraged, should be, really, over this public order bill and new bylaws, which are deeply concerning, yeah. Now, quite frankly, this is a make and break for UK democracy. Here's a bylaws and, uh, well, it basically takes away, re removes parliamentary democracy. So, oh, you didn't vote for that. <laughs> we don't care because we've got this bylaw that allows us to do what we want. That's what they're trying to push for at the moment. And then there's the public order bill, or act, what they call it. Protest bill, as it's been duped, or dubbed. And, uh, oh dare. Within that, there's no was that bylaws or, or secondary uh, legislation that allows them to uh, pretty much say what they consider. They can make, they can say, well, use the, their own determined uh, description of what acceptable pro acceptable protest actually is. Well, without protest, you have no democracy anyway. No wonder it's been suggested that the United Kingdom should be added onto the human rights abusers list. I don't think it's quite there yet. But, it's he you know, it's heading that way. I think it's setting dangerous precedents. While this is all going on, people are going to food banks, schools can't... Well, they can't afford the staff, they can't afford the amenities they need, yet Richie Sunak is very happy to give three million flipping quid to a Californian college. Yeah. Not a, not a British school. No, not a UK school. Uh, no. To a California college, three million quid. Just because his missus went there. Yeah. Oh, dear. 
Well, to be fair, it's probably blood money from Infosys, who's still operating in, uh, apparently, in uh, Russia. Allegedly, as you're supposed to say. And then we've got Boris Johnson, the COVID inquiry. Uh, and we've got people, we've got specialists, scientists. They're saying, uh, well, one leading scientist actually is attacking Richie Sunak and saying that his eat out to help out is more like, uh, well, eat out to help COVID. To, well, he said it's spectacularly stupid, obviously. And afterwards, what happened? Covid infections went up. Of course they did. People are mingling, cafuddling, and all that. You know, cafoodle. Ca- you know, getting together. You know what I mean? Getting jiggy with. It. And then you got Johnson and his uh, <laughs> Covid inquiry. The WhatsApp messages. That's more like yeah, but no, but. <sighs> He's saying that. Oh yes. <clears throat> I think we should uh, <laughs> hand over all the uh, WhatsApp messages unredacted. Fortune is caveats. Not all the COVID messages. No, WhatsApp messages. No. Now, this is going to go on for years. This is. Could be like an Ariston. It's going to go on and on and on. It's going to be absolutely painful. We're going to be hearing it on almost a daily basis about the COVID inquiry and what's in the. Well, Boris Johnson's WhatsApp messages, which are probably very damaging for the Tory party. The thing is, uh, Boris Johnson, he don't give a damn what's in those messages. No, he's got no integrity. Oh, and always Richie Sunak, to be fair. Because now they're threatening uh, Boris Johnson. Uh, they're going to remove funding for his... <laughs> what the hell are we paying for anyway? For his legal costs? Yes, it's going to be there, a million quid it'll be. For Boris Johnson. Yeah, half a time he got away. He popped down Duxbridge, his constituency, the other day to, to shake a few hands and then buggered off again. The first time in how many years? <laughs> God knows. They'd be swanning around all over the flipping world doing all his little speeches and stuff, earning shitloads of money, yet he's got a job already. People don't care about this stuff, though. But they should. To me, he's ripping people off. Again, and again, and then again. Well... <laughs> Anyway, I think we can talk about a lot of this stuff tonight in the live stream that I do. Yeah. Hopefully, I won't get another strike. Because there's been a bit, how to put it, a bit of a roller coaster ride of late with YouTube. One minute you're up there, the next minute you're down there, the next minute you're like, oh god, should I carry on? That's how it feels. It really does. But sometimes I think myself, I want to carry on just to poke the buggers in the eyes. Sometimes. Somebody needs to. And OK, I've only got a small channel. But this is the cumulative, as you see, it's, uh, it's that layering effect. The more people out there sp- sp- oh, speaking truth to power and what have you, the more of us that does it, the more likely that we're going to, ha- well, put pressure on the government to do the right thing. Maybe one day. One day. Touching wood. Touching wood, by the way. Yeah. Not that wood. <laughs> no, touching wood. My bench. Yeah, wooden bench. Yeah, one day we might have closer alignment with the EU. Maybe, just maybe, they might accept some uh, European Court of Justice jurisdiction. Maybe, we might have access to EU reach. Maybe, UK CA mark, maybe that'll go to the wall. And we'll have the CA mark. All those things would make it a lot easier outside the EU. But still, it'd be a darn sight easier if we were still in that club. No, no longer, no longer have we got that seat at the table. And who do you mean the people know? About 60 odd percent of people say, hang on, this Brexit lag is a bit shit, isn't it? I think I've been sold a crock of shit. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I said the poo, I said the poo word. Oh dear. Anyway, you most kind, join us tonight. But before you do, please boot the old like button and maybe leave a comment down below and subscribe. <gasps> oh, that'd be good. And a bell icon, because then you get a warm fuzzy feeling in your pocket every time I upload another video. Well, this one was a bit of a chat, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of a chat tonight in the live stream so hopefully you'll join us there anyway oh got a wally here let's just say hello to wally oh he's here he's here oh up you go boy oh yeah we don't want your bum that end that's the better end where are you going no 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 you hit the camera <laughs> you little devil that you are my boy he's a lovely fella this one have you got anything to say wally here i interview wally wally what do you think of uh, boris johnson just let you know he's licking his balls <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, on that note, I'm going to say ta-ta. Ta-ta.